Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. Today before us we have a very nice algebraic math challenge. In fact, it's a tough one, okay? It's not an easy one, but we're going to solve it here. The question reads, a plus b plus c equal to 3, a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2 plus c to the power of 2 is equal to 1. And again, we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 plus c to the power of 3 equal to minus 3. What is the value of a, comma b, comma c? That we will plug into these expressions or these equations we satisfy these three equations. Okay, so if you new year, this is all I must TV where we learn mathematics all the time. You welcome on board. All right, so subscribe if you've not subscribed. So let's take this step by step. Okay, so let's take our solution. So now we're going to make use of some of the nice algebraic identity in solving this challenge. The first thing we're going to do here is to look at this second expression here. We have an algebraic identity for this. We all know that um, we can rewrite this expression if we have a plus b plus c all to the power of 2. This is equal to our a square plus b square plus c square. Okay, then plus, let's continue on this side, 2ab plus 2b um, uh, c plus 2 a, C. And meanwhile, we have this in our expression. So what we do here now, we can make this the subject of the formula in place of this here now. So this will now give us, yeah, we're going to have here A to the power of 2 plus B to the power of 2 plus C to the power of 2. This will now be equal to, yeah, we're going to have your A plus B plus C, all right, all to the power of 2, minus, because everything here, we're going to send everything to this side, and we can factor out 2 from here. So, minus 2 into A, B, plus our B, C, plus our A, C. Easy. Now, we have this from equation 2 to be 1. So we can put one in the whole of this place. And a plus b plus c is our equation one. So we can put in three here. So can I go ahead and take here to be one. And here we have this to be our three. So we have here three. So we're writing this equation. We're going to have here one is equal to three to the power of two minus two bracket a b plus b c plus a c okay we're heading somewhere so this will give us nine send this to this side this will now give us here um a nine minus this this will give us minus eight equal to minus two into our a b plus b c plus a c close bracket so divide both sides by minus two Okay, divide this by minus 2 also. This, this leaves the system. So this here, this leaves, there here we have 4. So we're going to have the whole of this to be, or this now implies that our A, B plus B, C plus A, C is equal to 4. Now let's keep this because we're going to make use of this in no distance time. Okay, all right. From here, we now have this established already. Okay, so let's continue on this side and see what this gives us in turn. Okay. Okay, now we go to the our third equation, which is this. Okay, so we have an algebraic identity for this. We all know that our a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 plus c to the power of 3, this is equal to... Um, we're going to have this to be our bracket open A plus B plus C close bracket bracket our A square plus B squared plus C squared, right? Then minus, let's continue on this side because of space, minus 
our a b the minus b c minus a c close bracket the plus three a b c okay now from this what we do next here now we can separate this out or we can factor out minus from this expression here and we know that the whole of this is equal to three so we can replace this side with minus three rather so we have this to be minus three is equal to yeah a plus b plus c we have it to be what three already so this will now give us three then bracket bracket the a to the power of two plus b to the power of two plus c to the power of two we also have it to be what one so we can replace the whole of this place here with one so we're going to have this to be one minus okay yeah let's put everything here in brackets so we're going to apply square bracket here so we have a b plus b c plus a c close bracket to our square bracket then plus our three a b c okay so now if you look at this now again you now discover that our a plus b plus a uh, b c plus a c is equal to four so we can put in four here again so we have this to be minus three is equal to our three into bracket here we have one minus four close bracket plus three a b c so if we open up we have minus three equal to this will give us minus three so minus three times three will give us um minus nine plus three a b c so if we rearrange we are going to have three a b c equal to um we have minus three plus nine and this will give us a plus six so we divide both side by three divide both side by three so this this leaves this here we have two so we have a b c equal to two again we've established another special expression that will enable us to solve our a comma b comma c already now what we do here now this is where the equation or the solution gets interesting now when i got to this point at first i got completely lost but i have to fight tom or I have to search out a way of solving for our a comma b comma c so what we do from here we have this expression already we have this expression already and we have this expression so what we do here we are going to form a polynomial equation okay a third degree other polynomial equation because we are having a three entity here and also we have this to be this so how is the equation going to look like so we go to from here we have x to the power of three minus the first expression here we have this which is going to give us here bracket your a plus b plus c the x to the power of two then plus the plus the, the next one here we have a plus b plus c plus d da 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 so we have here um, bracket your a b plus b c plus c a of x then lastly minus the next term here which is this we solve for here now which is a b c everything will now be equal to zero confused I know many questions will come from this expression here yeah. but this is the only way we can solve for a b c okay so what we do here now we look at this expression we have this already we know this already and we have this already so why are we doing this again we are having this standing alone there we're having the multiplication of this and we're having the a b c of this expression so here is our abc which is three so we have here to be three and here we have abc which is four so we have here to be four and here we have this to be um what here two so let's go ahead and substitute so if we substitute we're going to have here x to the power of three then minus uh three x to the power of two then our plugs here we have 
4x and there here we have minus 2 equal to our 0. So this is our polynomial equation. So we have to solve this polynomial equation. And so what we do, we have to find the first root that will satisfy this expression. So from this constant here now. So let's take our plus minus 2. The factors we have plus minus 1, plus minus 2. So if we substitute plus into this expression, you discover it's going to give us the zeros. Okay, because here it's going to give us 1, then minus 3. And that will give us, a, a year will give us positive 1 times 3 will give us 3. So we have minus 2. Okay, here we're going to give us 4. So minus 2 minus 2 will give us minus 4. Minus 4 plus 4 will give us 0. So plus 1 is a factor. So from here we will now discover that x minus, sorry, uh, yeah, s minus 1 equal to 0 is a factor. s minus 1 is a factor. So if s1, uh, s minus 1 is a factor, then we can now divide using the log division method to get the quadratic equation. So we're getting the first value of x to be what? Positive 1. All right, so let's erase this side now. So using the long division method, we're going to have our x to the power of 3 minus 3x three squared plus 4x minus 2. Right? So let's do our long division. Sorry, this 3, please. Okay. Then we have x minus 1 as a factor. So we use x to divide this. This will give us x to the power of 2. This time, this will give us x to the power of 3, then minus our x to the power of 2. We bracket this and we subtract. So if we subtract this from this, this, this will leave the system. Okay? We are subtracting. Then here we become plus. So if we add this, this will now give us minus 2x to the power of 2. Bring this next term here, which is here, we have here 4x. We use this to divide this. This will give us minus our 2x. Yeah. Okay. So we use this to tie this. This will give us minus um, 2x squared. Then this, this will give us plus 2x. Okay. Again, we subtract. So if we subtract, this becomes minus. So here we have minus. So minus times minus gives us plus. So again, this and this leaves the system. So this gives us minus 2. So plus 4x minus 2 x will give us here plus 2x. So we bring down the last figure here, which is 2. Okay, so what we do, we use this to divide this again. So if we use this to divide this, gives us plus our 2 here. So this time this will give us 2x, and this time this will give us minus 2. Again, we subtract. So this, this leaves, this become plus, so this, this leaves. So we have our 0 here. We now have a quadratic expression. But this now implies that x then uh, minus 1 into that we have x squared minus 2x plus 2. Okay, everything equal to 0. So we apply the zero product rule where we take this to 0. Now we don't have problem with this. Then we take this to 0 and we solve this quadratically because this is a quadratic equation. So let us read this and see what this gives us. Okay. All right. So solving this, we cannot use the factorization method. We use the quadratic formula. And we know that our quadratic formula says that our minus b plus minus the square root of our b squared minus 4ac. Let's cover this up. Everything all over 2a. So what is our a? A is the coefficient here, which is 1. The b, um, our b is equal to minus 2. Then our c is equal to 2. Okay, so here we substitute. So this give our x is equal to minus bracket minus 2 plus minus the square root of your minus 2r squared minus 4 times, uh, let's still put this in bracket, please. Uh, what is our a? 1, then into um, 2, okay? Then all over 2 into 1. So this gives us here yeah, 2 plus minus the square root of 4 minus 8 all over 2. So this is easy now. Here we give us 2 plus minus, this will give us minus 4, right? So we're going to have this to be minus 4 all over 2. And we know 
that we can rewrite this as minus 1 times 4. So the square root of 4 is what? 2. Then the square root of minus 1, we know that the square root of minus 1, okay? Square root of minus 1 is equal to iota. So we can bring iota to represent our minus 1 in here. So we can rewrite the whole of this as our 2 plus minus 2 iota all over 2. If we factor out 2 from here, what will this give us? So we're going to have this to be 2 into, um, yeah, will give us um, 1 plus minus your iota. All right? Everything all over 2. So this, this leaves. So we have our answer here to be 1 plus minus iota. Again, we have our x2 uh, and x3 from here. So we now have our x1 is equal to, we solve it to be 1, then x2 is equal to your 1 plus iota, and x3 is equal to 1 minus iota. So these are the three roots to our x. And these are also equivalent to our AB. So therefore, let's rule off here and get our AB. Therefore, our A is equal to, okay, because we are asked to look for A. A is equal to 1, then B is equal to, we have an imaginary number 1 plus iota, and C is equal to 1 minus iota. All right. So these are the roots or the values of A, B, C that we satisfy these expressions you have here now. Now, I've gone ahead to substitute these values into this and they all satisfy this expression here. All right, so this marks the end to this wonderful, rhetorical, tough challenge, tough algebraic challenge. I know you must have learned something from this video tutorial. That thing you have learned from this video tutorial, drop it in the comment section. But if you've not learned anything and you have a question with regard to this, drop it also in the comment section. Also, you have a better way of solving this, then drop it in the comment section. If you notice any error in the process of solving this challenge, do not hesitate to also drop it in the comment section because we are here to learn from the best brains also, even as we are out here, so also uh, give out our best to people too. Thank you for being there all the time. My name is Jake's Animal, and this is All I Must TV, where we love you so much because you are the reason for the existence of this channel. If you're not subscribed, do well to subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we drop an amazing video like this one you just watched right now. Again, I love you all. Stay blessed till I come your way again. Bye for now.